Herbarium, Definition, Importance, 5 Examples The term herbarium is derived from the Latin words herba, plant, and rium, repository, or collection. As a result, a herbarium is a collection of preserved plant specimens used for scientific study, research, and education. Typically, the specimens are dried, pressed, and mounted on archival paper before being stored in specialized cabinets or drawers. Herbarium Definition A herbarium is a collection of preserved plant specimens used for scientific research, education, and study. Typically, the specimens are dried, pressed, and mounted on archival paper before being stored in specialized cabinets or drawers. The specimens are meticulously labeled with information about their origin, habitat, and any other pertinent information that may be useful for scientific research. Importance of Herbarium Herbaria are important resources for scientists, educators, and the general public. They serve a variety of functions, including taxonomy, systematics, biogeography, ecology, and conservation biology. Herbaria are also used in medical, agricultural, and industrial research. Herbaria are important for documenting the diversity of plant life on Earth. They offer a collection of plant specimens that can be used to identify plants and compare species. Herbaria also keep a permanent record of the distribution and abundance of plant species, which can be used to track environmental changes over time. Cladistic Analysis Cladistic analysis is a method of reconstructing an organism's phylogenetic tree or evolutionary history based on shared characteristics. Cladistic analysis can be used in herbaria to study the evolutionary relationships between plant species based on their morphology, anatomy, and genetics. Herbaria are an excellent resource for cladistic analysis because they house a large number of plant specimens that can be used to identify and compare different species. Herbarium specimens are meticulously labeled with information about their origin, habitat, and other relevant data that can be used to determine species relationships. Cladistic analysis of herbarium specimens can be used to address a wide range of research questions, including the following. Plant species phylogenetic relationships. Cladistic analysis can be used to determine the evolutionary relationships between different plant species based on shared characteristics. This data can be used to create a phylogenetic tree that depicts the relationships between plant groups. Cladistic analysis of herbarium specimens can be used to study the distribution of plant species and their relationships with other organisms in biogeography. Researchers can gain insights into the biogeographical history of different regions and the factors that have influenced the evolution of plant life by analyzing the characteristics of different plant groups. Ecology Cladistic analysis can be used to investigate plant species ecology and interactions with other organisms. Researchers can learn about the ecological roles of different plant groups and the factors that influenced their evolution by studying their morphology and anatomy. Overall, cladistic analysis of herbarium specimens is a powerful tool for studying the diversity and evolution of plant life. By combining morphological, anatomical, and genetic data from herbarium specimens, researchers can gain insights into the evolutionary relationships among different plant species and their roles in the natural world. Examples of Herbarium New York Botanical Garden Herbarium With over 7.8 million specimens, this herbarium is one of the largest in the world. It is also one of the oldest herbaria in the country, dating back to the late 1800s. The herbarium is used for research, education, and conservation, and it houses specimens from all over the world, with a special emphasis on plants from the Americas, Asia, and Africa. Royal Botanic Gardens, Hugh Herbarium With over 7 million specimens, this herbarium is one of the largest in the world. It is a research, education, and conservation facility in the United Kingdom. The herbarium specializes in plant specimens from Africa, Madagascar, 
and the Middle East, but it also contains specimens from other parts of the world. National Museum of Natural History Herbarium Located in Washington, D.C., this herbarium is one of the largest in the world, housing over 5 million specimens. It houses specimens from all over the world and is used for research, education, and conservation. The herbarium is especially interested in plants from North America, Central America, and the Caribbean. Missouri Botanical Garden Herbarium With over 6 million specimens, this herbarium in St. Louis, Missouri, is one of the largest in the world. It is used for research, education, and conservation, with a particular emphasis on plants from the world's tropical regions. The Index Herbarium, a database of herbaria from around the world, is also housed in the herbarium. Harvard University Herbaria Located in Cambridge, Massachusetts, this collection of three herbaria houses over six million specimens. It is used for research, education, and conservation, with a special emphasis on plants from the northeastern United States, as well as ferns and mosses from all over the world. These herbaria are just a few of the many herbaria that exist throughout the world. They are invaluable resources for the study of plant biodiversity, evolution, and ecology, as well as for conservation efforts aimed at preserving plant species and habitats. Differences between Herbarium and Botanical Garden A herbarium is a collection of preserved plant specimens that are used for scientific study, research, and education. Botanical gardens, on the other hand, are living plant collections that are used for public display, research, and education. While herbaria focus on preserving and documenting plant specimens, botanical gardens focus on growing and displaying living plants. Herbaria are typically located within research institutions, such as universities, museums, and government agencies. Botanical gardens, on the other hand, are often located in public parks or other public spaces. Herbaria are primarily used by scientists and researchers, while botanical gardens are open to the public and are used for education and recreation. Another key difference between herbaria and botanical gardens is the type of specimens that they contain. Herbaria typically contain dried and preserved plant specimens, while botanical gardens contain living plants that are grown in a controlled environment. Herbaria and botanical gardens also differ in their focus. Herbaria are primarily focused on scientific research and study, while botanical gardens are focused on public education, recreation, and conservation. Conclusion in conclusion, herbaria are collections of preserved plant specimens that play a crucial role in plant identification, research, and conservation. They serve as a permanent record of the Earth's flora, providing invaluable data for studying plant diversity, evolution, and biogeography. Cladistic analysis of herbarium specimens allows for the development of phylogenetic trees that help scientists better understand the relationships between different plant species. Some notable examples of herbaria include the New York Botanical Garden Herbarium and the Royal Botanic Gardens, Q. Despite their similarities, herbaria can differ in terms of their size, scope, and focus. Ultimately, herbaria represent a valuable resource for scientists and plant enthusiasts alike, helping us to better understand and appreciate the richness and complexity of the natural world.